Welcome back everybody. I am excited to test the new Roto Grip gem today. If you like what we do, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe and check us out on Patreon. The gem replenishes the sort of empty top line strong defined slot in the Roto Grip lineup. All right, let's get to it. The Roto Grip gem is somewhat of a simple formula. Huge core in a huge cover makes for a new strong defined ball in the lineup. The the last big ball from Roto Grip was the UFO, which had the micro tracks cover. Very similar core specs as well. However, the gem revives the core shape that I remember from the original Defiant that we enjoyed so much. The, the planes in the core created somewhat of a unique motion that I recall, and this is ultimately a nuance, but the key is it fits clearly in the strong defined box. The big micro tracks aggressive cover means it, it does read the lanes fairly strongly, but not super early while smoothing the transition a bit due to that read. Um, it, but it doesn't feel like it's reading at your feet, which is good. I, I was on the fence about the colors, but I understand it'll have some shelf appeal. In terms of ball reaction, the, the color does help you to see how the core is transitioning itself. It's kind of writing itself from the mid lane, but still has some noticeable response to dry. And that helps accentuate the asymmetric nature and strong move down lane. I have to say the gem worked amazingly well for me on this house shot. Um, you know, think about the house shot design. Heavy friction outside, heavy oil inside, meant to provide massive forgiveness. While the gem was a bit too much for me personally from direct, once I got close to the third arrow, I can make it work anywhere to the fifth arrow. The, the ball is responsive enough to cover boards, um, big enough to manage the heavy oil in the middle of the lane, so pushing it to the friction doesn't yield you know, ball death and you just get a blending where the ball is transitioning and slows down just enough to still work stay inside in the, in the heavy oil and the gem couldn't care less it just responded like it was nothing so final thoughts sometimes you might think really strong pieces are overkill for house shots but sometimes they actually provide the right balance where they take over under out of play as the strength simply blends everything the, the ball is writing itself into a roll regardless of the pattern the Rotor Grip gem was a star in the house shot for me, plain and simple.